Hello everyone. I wanted to do a video, a uh, quick little what's in bloom, because there's not a whole lot. It's mainly growing season time. But also, just kind of a quick little glance around of the greenhouse in preparation for the June. Or I, I'm probably going to do it like next week, but the June uh, monthly live stream from Rain in Rainbow Orchid Society. So, in front of me here, I just did a video on these last week. Well, the first flowers are open, and I wanted to show them off. So this is, and I'm trying to get the, trying to get a good shot with the lighting, because the lighting's a little weird. There we go. This is a Brasso Cattleya Rustic Spots. This is the H&R clone. And it's already starting to change color. It looks like it starts in the petals and then kind of works its way outward. Because they open up this kind of reddish purpley color and then fade to like a vibrant orangey yellow. And as the first flower is open, the second bud is beginning to open. And the third bud, well, it's the third bud. It hasn't started yet. But the RLC Wine-Eye Leopard is fully open. This flower looks like it's got a little bit of wonk. But that's fine. The other two are fine. And I know it doesn't bloom like this normally. Because you can see that the, the top part of the column or the um, lip there that wraps around the column. A little, a little weird. But the other flowers, look at those. That one's the petals being uh, pulled back by the lip. Or by the lip of the other one. But these are gorgeous. They, the, the smell's supposed to come out soon, but this is RLC Why Night Leopard Qinghua. And uh, it had three buds on this bike. I think they can have like four to nine, I heard. I'm not really sure if that's true, but this is a first this is also a first bloom, and it's a very, very nice first bloom as well. The flowers are very waxy. So this is a bifoliate. A bifoliate Kelly. So this flower is very waxy. The fragrance is gonna be really nice. The flowers are pretty long lasting and they there's a, several of them to a cluster. I'm super excited for that. Um, uh, right up here, let me pull it down. One of my Philionosis. I think I showed this one before. This is one of my only remaining no IDs. I just kept it because it's such a reliable bloomer. And it's such a cute little one. Low arching sprays of delightful purple flowers. The plant. It needs a repotting soon, but it'll hold off until blooming. Until it finishes blooming. That just kind of sits up here. Um... Uh, the Phalaenopsis brother Sarigold crossed on Sogo Berry is still blooming with this one flower. The rest of them fell off. Uh, Phalaenopsis bellina is opening, but the flower is a little weird, so it's probably not going to open normally. I will show it if it if it does open more. I will show, but there's not a whole. It's just it, it the flower is a little malformed. But it's luckily I know this clone. I've seen this clone. Uh, I, the person that, that recommended me to get it from Hazerman's has the same exact clone, and theirs blooms beautifully. Uh, Catacetum Chuck Taylor crossed on denticulatum. The spike is starting to develop buds. I, it looks a lot yellower on camera than it actually is, but it is, the spike is actually fine. We should get some buds. The buds are actually starting to form in there, and I can see some of them. So it looks like we're going to get at least like four or five for this, for this early bloom, which is fantastic. The other one which is also in spike of the same exact cross. This is Chuck Taylor cross on Deticulatum. The spike is, oops, let me get in some good light. The spike is just starting out, but the plant, it looks good. And then of course you see like how tiny these little Chuck, Chuck Taylor crosses are compared to the monster of a Fred Clark Ara after dark behind it. But we just kind of like got a lot of growing going on. The lighting's awful with this uh, fluorescent light here, but the gingerbread usatai is just kind of chugging along. The bulbophyllums are chugging along. There goes the phone. Uh, the gingerbread. Wow, that is loud. Um, the bulbophyllum shelf is doing pretty well. I've got all of the um, the maxillaria is hiding back there, and then I have uh, my catlia. Tigrina right there, and there's a new growth right there. I, I secured it with a zap strap to the elder one because I didn't want it to uh, grow out. It was trying to grow out and sideways, so I'm trying to help secure it to go upwards, and it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm hoping it'll bloom off this growth, but who knows? Because they start blooming pretty young. Like you do like one or two, one or three flowers, and look like the first spike, and then they get more and more from there. Uh, and, well, yeah, but all the bulb farms are doing well. The seedlings are doing wonderfully. 
This spot's a lot thicker. I think the, the plants are a lot bigger in that one. These are a little bit smaller, but these are starting to mature some growth. Wilbur's maturing in growth. Everything is just kind of growing. The bulb fowl looks fantastic because this is this new growth is maturing and the bulb is swelling. This new growth is growing and it's looking good. So I'll have lots to update, lots more to update on soon. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little update on like what's blooming. Look at the cattleyas now that they're in bloom, and just kind of do a little look around. Keep uh, keep an eye out on the Rainbow Orchid Society Facebook group for my my uh, monthly live stream post. It should be coming up within the next few days. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.